Hey guys, so today we're going to be building uh, in Python an Instagram bot that will actually show you who does not follow you back. Um, this is going to be really quick and really easy to get on your resume. And it's also going to be, you know, something that all of your friends are going to want to try. Um, so what you're going to need is Python 3 and that's it. If, as long as you install Python 3, we will do the rest together. And before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. This whole channel is dedicated to helping you get your next internship. Uh, and building projects is definitely a part of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start writing the code and as we need packages, as we need things, we're gonna install them as we go. But right now we shouldn't need anything. All we're gonna do is say username equals empty, password equals empty. Uh, then we're gonna write a main function. Now, uh, if you've ever used Python before, you know it executes line by line. This main function just tells it's basically lets us start exactly where we want to start kind of like you would in C or C++ uh, and let's print good goodbye world just to mix it up a little bit I'm kind of sick of hello world all right uh, let's go ahead and run that function I'm running Python 3 I should stop and say if you don't have Python installed, uh, if you don't have Python 3 installed, go download it. I don't have a video here to do it, but it's like, because it's covered everywhere by everyone. Like literally pause this video, download Python 3 and come back here. It'll take you two minutes. It's really not that difficult. So Python 3, get follower discrepancies, goodbye world. There we go. Now we're on our way to writing Selenium code to find the Instagram followers. So first thing first, what we want to do is create the browser window. It's called a driver. So we're going to say driver equals um, webdriver.chrome, webdriver.chrome, and then we're going to do uh, chrome, what is it, chrome web driver, chrome driver manager dot install. If you don't know what this code does, you don't need to. Uh, this is one of those things that kind of stays the exact same for me every single time. But this web driver, if you try to run it, it does not exist. What we're going to do is from Selenium import um, web driver. Now, this might be going pretty fast for you, but this is like really boilerplate stuff. It's going to, there's nothing special to it. All this does is create a window. And what you'll see is if we run this, it'll actually create a Chrome window. You know what? Let's just run it. Uh, it'll take two seconds to show you. Oh, of course, Chrome Driver Manager. This is also not installed. Let's go ahead and install that. Um, if you try to run this right now on your computer, it'll say Selenium doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and do a pip install. Do a pip install Web Driver Manager. That, that'll get us the Chrome Driver Manager. And then do a pip install Selenium also. There you go. You got the dependencies you need um, from Web Driver Manager. There it pops up, dot Chrome. We want to import Chrome Driver Manager. There you go, and now we run it. Whoop, the wrong one, run this. Uh, one thing that I did wrong here is um, I actually have to initialize that. I have to create, I believe this creates an object instance of Chrome Driver. There, it's a class. Uh, I had to initialize it, uh, initialize it. So this is kind of calling the constructor. If you don't know what that means, also uh, not a big deal. You can learn it on the side. Now look at this. Uh, you might have saw that really quickly. It popped up a window. Uh, if we want to see it for longer, what we do is we're just going to import the time function, uh, the time class, I should say. That allows us to do this thing, time.sleep. Sleep is just going to put the thread to sleep. It's a fancy way of saying it's going to pause, and we're going to be able to see it. There you go. This will stay up for 10 seconds before it goes away. And what you'll see is once we start writing code, it'll start clicking buttons and interacting with this. Okay, so the very first thing, we've got a Chrome window coming up. We need to head to the correct address. We need to go to the Instagram address. So if you do a driver.get, this is the function that you need to call just to go to, to surf to any URL. Uh, and the URL we need to surf to is an Instagram one which I have preloaded here. Um, you'll be able to find that, of course, in the Git repo. Now, how do I know it's this exact URL? Well, I think you just 
search there and then you just copy it out of the URL. Yeah, you just follow, go to Instagram and take it out of the URL also is another option. There's no magic there. Um, all right, now we are gonna write the function that's actually gonna log us into Instagram. So one thing, I'm gonna run this and show you exactly how we're gonna start using Selenium and this is gonna become a pattern. What we do is look for the element we wanna click. Uh, we go to the inspect tab. That's just right click inspect. This brings up the HTML code and we can see specific things about the HTML. Look, name equals username. Uh, this is an attribute that's unique to this box. So when we can use Selenium to specify this box by using this unique attribute, same thing for uh, password, it's gonna say name equals password. And that's gonna allow us to tell Selenium exactly what box we want it to click, exactly what box we want it to type things into. So uh, you can just say very easily driver dot um, find element by name, right? The name was username. Nothing fancy there. Look, name equals password. That's all we're doing. We're using that attribute selector that they have pre-installed, find element by name. Um, we're using the username. Now, once we have it, we're gonna do this function called send keys, which is a pretty cool function that allows you to actually type things in and we are gonna use this username up here. So let's try tech intern. And the password we're gonna say, I don't know, is hunter2. That's not the actual password, but you're welcome to try it. Username, driver.find element by name. 